Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello everyone, this is Movie Talk. This will be the initial starter for my playlist section of the channel called Movie Talk. I'm going to every once in a while have a friend, guest, co-host, talk about a certain movie, maybe aspects of movies themselves. I want to get a baseline first, just, that's why I'm doing this one. So maybe I'll start with some movies that, so people can get an idea of what I love and grew up on. Since I'm born in 71, I've seen the Jaws, Star Wars. Matter of fact, I almost miss seeing Star Wars because a certain aunt of mine and her at the time boyfriend took us to see Orca the Killer Whale instead of Star Wars. So, anyway, Halloween, Rocky, Indiana Jones movies, Back to the Future, The Thing, Halloween, horror is one of my favorite genres, and especially John Carpenter. I love Christine. I love a bunch of his uh, movie movies. There were things like Animal House and all the Rodney Dangerfield movies I loved. Die Hard for the most part. Lethal Weapon. The movies that um, you grow up on with Ghostbusters. Probably too many to list and these videos would be incredibly long. Recent things might be the Lord of the Rings, The Matrix, and being a lover of horror, I let some of the campiness, um, I let it get a pass. I love the Friday the 13th movies, and especially the Universal Monsters, which I talked about on a, another podcast a little bit, because I started seeing those on TV. In general, I love movies since I was a child. In my teens, late teens, early 20s, I got more into the writing aspect of movies. Being a dungeon master and wanting to learn about storytelling, I gradually went in that direction. I guess I've been fascinated with how you put a movie together. There's so many moving parts, I guess like TV shows also, that it's I think a rare event when you can get a movie that entertains you. In my later years, looking into creative writing, um, tutorials, going to libraries, looking online now, it's more for script writing, um, the how to write a story, the templates you use, the... ABCs of creative writing. Directing and parts of the movie making business that really fascinate me. I just don't know if I would ever be good at it. I'll probably be doing a interview with a friend of mine who has made a couple of short movies. I did a little bit of voiceover, voiceover work and one of them helped him out a couple of times with filming. I do like it. I just see me as more of a writer in that aspect. So the playlist and channel will obviously be general reviews, I guess, or my thoughts on a particular movie, be it, be it that it's older, maybe even going into eventually a running commentary. Newer movies, I would say my first impression would be just to do a my initial thoughts or first reactions if you see a movie in a theater you want to see it more times wait for a dvd a digital copy to be released to pick out the nuances so maybe there'll be follow-ups to a particular movie especially if it's new 
trailers also. I could see me a new trailer comes out. I got time. I wish I'd script these things and plot these things out. But I love doing it this way. I get free time. I turn on the mic. I mumble and ramble. And I don't feel too much of a distress. That's why I'd have a list of every, you know, the Star Trek movies and it'd keep going on. But in general, I'd like to keep this part of the channel for all things that have to do with movies. And just like my TV talk podcast, I'd probably like to make a distinction between an entertainment value and a critique of the movie. Something I know has flaws and I could be honest and non-biased about and looking at it. Something that I love as a child. It just doesn't hold up. Because I love the first Terminator movie. It's one of my favorites. But when you look at the CGI, well, when I do, it kind of lowers the movie. Like, I wish that we'd go back and just do those scenes. Anyway, it doesn't lower the score in any way that matters. But little things like that. Things that I might have loved as a child and still hold a fondness for that I would want to be critical about. Looking back now. I've read a lot of books on the scripts of older movies and there is a part of me that enjoys going back and watching some of the older westerns and when movie studios had contracts and uh, stars would make uh, blocks of movies. No black and white days. But I wouldn't say that's my favorite or my cup of tea. Although I try to uh, appreciate them. Like I love Chinatown with Jack Nicholson. And for me it's more of a script writing exercise. Or a deep dive into that. So I could see doing some podcast on movies themselves. Maybe a criteria for what makes a great movie. But that would not really sit well with me in a sense. I do love B-movies. I think I love the process of looking through B-movies or watching them and finding the gems. I could see I might relate to having a story since I've written tons of stuff. And wanting to get it out there. You get people who love the project and it just doesn't come together well. But you can see the effort in it. You can see the greatness in parts. So I'll watch tons of B-movies. Particularly horror, sci-fi. And try to find the, the, uh, the, the gems in them. The silver linings in certain movies. But that might be an aspect I'd like to discuss also. I don't think you could... Just like with TV, it's so subjective. I, I could see and understand why some movies win awards and others don't, but it seems too much of a popularity uh, agenda type thing. So I don't want to particularly come down on movies that I would say totally suck. So I don't see a lot of content for this playlist being... Um, trashing movies, but I would be honest, even if lots of people love it or hate it. Like, I like the Green Lantern movie. I watch it over and over. I mean, I can critically look at it and say where its faults are, but it entertains me. I'm big into the Star Wars, was big into the Star Wars movies until this fucking last one that came out. Where Luke is destroyed as they shit on him. And that might be a separate podcast. I did give The Force Awakens a pass. And the prequels. Somewhat of a pass. But I could see the entertainment value. I rewatched them. And even The Force Awakens would be in there. But not this last one they did. I don't even remember the name. I'm just trying to wipe it out of my fucking memory. Horrible made movie. And I don't care what people say. I respect your opinion, you're allowed to have it, but uh, fucking shit. So, maybe there'll be discussions, but I wouldn't go too heavy into trashing movies and 
Um, maybe even deciding that a movie that I talked about on TV Talk would be included, let's say, Salem's Lot, the original It, movies that are made for TV. But all this depends on how much traction I get, feedback, how much passion I have for it. And that's why I want to make these playlists, because I know these are passions I have. Even if I don't get lots of feedback, I'll always pop on and talk about a movie I just watched. I did watch, what's my latest, what are the last two movies I watched? Jojo Rabbit, I really liked. And My Name is Dolomite. And I enjoyed them both. Critically, I think they're very well done. But that would maybe be other podcasts. And I would probably do a spoilers-free general one first. I mean, that seems to be the protocol. And uh, you don't want to get my tons of subscribers and fans spoiled on anything. Because you, know, you can't do that. Maybe there will be some more deeper dives. if, Like I said, if there's a lot of feedback and contributions from fans will leave comments or... People who are interested. I guess he may be coming up with a format. And I might do that with friends and co-hosts. This way I have something to bounce off them before we go live. Although the way my friends come over and we hang out, most of it will be spontaneous and just turn the mics on. Maybe even do favorite top tens. I love the Godzilla movies, maybe do my top five. I could see me doing things like that eventually. I'm not sure if there's a potential benefit for promoting it in a certain way. I'd like to let these things grow with me in a natural way. So maybe asking for feedback isn't exactly what I might want to do in the beginning. I want to get my channel spread out with different ideas that I want to do, that I feel that I want to get out. And then when the passion hits me, focus on it. And I will keep an open mind for the potential to have feedback. So being that uh, the whole aspect of writing is my particular forte, if I would say that maybe I would include a some sort of writing criteria. Would that be something that influences me more than for some people, special effects and so on and so forth? These are discussions I might have with people from time to time. So I wouldn't say that every week would be a movie and a, a TV show. It might be a movie and talking about the process of a TV show and what might make it good, or in this case, movies. In future movies, if I'm getting into it, I could see me doing the trailer, then doing like a, maybe a premiere for the actual movie review. I'm learning about this, I'm new to this, so I'm just finding out about YouTube premieres, where you premiere your content, you know, Thinking about that. And I maybe I'm thinking about it too much, but I guess it, it'll come with feedback and like the feedback I had with some friends. I'm a fan of Marvel and DC. I love them equally as a comic book, I guess, entity or the fun house that I played with as a child. I have no real favorites, so I don't hate and dislike. I even like independent comics and. Valiant image. So, in general, I would say the Marvel Universe, the cinematic universe, has been incredible. They've done a great job. Even if I were to look at it critically and say, out of all these movies they've made, let's say four of them aren't in a certain category of the best. Then there's tiers of 
Maybe some did more success, but they had great storylines. So on the whole, I think Marvel did a great job. There's ones that I truly love, ones that I could watch over and over, and some I could be honest and say, there's a missed opportunity, but overall it doesn't lower the value or the entertainment for me. DC, on the other hand, is a little harder. They started out the gate wrong, in my opinion. When you look at Man of Steel, I'm not even a big fan. I think the 40 minutes of the fighting is like, excites the kid in me. So their tone was not something I, you know, felt an attraction to right away. For instance, the Nolan Batmans, I love Batman Begins. Love it. Not a big fan of the second one and the third one I hate. And I'm a huge fan. Like I said, I have no bias. I love them all equally. And there might be my favorite character ever might even be Nightwing or Dick Grayson. So I try not to hold the bias. But then they move on and they do other things and they're not sitting well with me. Batman v Superman. And that movie has... In my opinion, Batman's greatest fight scene ever in the warehouse when he's trying to save Superman's mom. And it's like epic. Well, the movie sucks, in my opinion. Maybe the director's cut's a little better, but... But they have some gems now. I love Shazam. Liked Aquaman a lot. Wonder Woman's great. Shazam, I think, had the right mixture of humor... I think Aquaman missed it a little bit here and there, but pulled it through in the end as a whole experience. The other ones I'm not, you know, uh, Justice League I give a pass to. Entertains me decent enough, but as a critic I would you know, nitpick it to death. I'm not a big fan of the other ancillary uh, side projects with the Suicide Squad too much. And, but they showed promise in my opinion couple of independent, I guess you call them independent, but I think there's a Vin Diesel movie coming out from a comic I used to collect back in the day. So future movies, I could see being excited about a trailer, coming on, doing a quick podcast, deciding with some feedback, oh, you know what, I'm going to talk about it on a podcast when it comes out, go see it. Then maybe even follow it up with it more in depth when a Blu-ray DVD comes out. So that might be the format I envision. And then there might be standalone talks about the movie processing um, business itself. All the moving pieces. Like I said, I have a couple of friends who are interested or who do these type of things who work in the industry. So if from time to time I can get into those discussions, I'd love to. I think that'll be it. These are more just placeholders and introductions into the sections of the site or the channel. So I appreciate everybody joining me. Come back, you know what to do. Take care until next time.